2,300 runners from 87 countries, all taking part in the Ultra Trail de Mont Blanc, a 170-kilometer race the equivalent of four marathons. A tough task to take on, so why are more people doing it? It's obviously kind of the, the moving fast in the mountains, you know, and, and, and this physical challenge, and I think this, like, Marathon used to be long distance, now marathon is nothing anymore, and now it's ultra marathons, and then it's, it used to be a big deal to, to run up a hill, now you've got to run up a mountain, and then, you know, there's always someone that takes it to the, to the extreme. One athlete was disqualified from taking part in the race for blood doping, and as ultra running becomes more mainstream, attracting bigger prize money and corporate sponsorship, organisers are determined to keep the sport clean. We work with ITRA and before we make tests, it may be blood, it may be uh, with the uh, uh, mouth and uh, over hair, it may be different kind of test. We control the elite because they are well known and they are an example. The runners had 46 and a half hours to finish the course, which started in Chamonix, France and went through Italy and Switzerland. The challenging mountain terrain meant they endured running at high altitudes with 10,000 metres of elevation gain. Five hours into the race, it's done, and these runners are going to be carrying on through the night. 30 kilometres done, only another 140 to go. As the runners progressed, medical staff helped the athletes with injuries and those suffering from exhaustion. 40% of participants dropped out, struggling to cope in the heat as temperatures reach 30 degrees Celsius. Ludovic Pomeray from France was the first man to cross the finish line, greeted by his daughter and huge applause from the crowds. He completed the race in 22 hours and two seconds. Paul Giblin was the first British runner to arrive back in Chamonix, coming 17th overall. I'm feeling slightly shell-shocked, a little bit tired, and very sore, sore legs. I've been sore legs for maybe the last 50 miles, so glad it's over. Despite the pain and exhaustion, extreme events like this continue to grow in popularity, with enthusiasts pushing their bodies beyond ever greater physical limits. Angela Barnes, Sky News.